Google's latest creation, mind-blowing UI design by AI. Imagine simply telling a computer exactly what you want, a sleek dashboard, a stunning mobile app, and then in mere seconds, it designs it right before your eyes. Today, we are looking at Stitch, Google's newest AI-powered design assistant powered by Gemini. And in this video, you're gonna witness firsthand how to access this game-changing tool and exactly how to use it to bring your design visions to life faster than you ever thought possible. I'll have a link in the description below but it is stitch.withgoogle.com and we have an option here between mobile and web so we are going to put in our first prompt here there is a standard mode and an experimental mode so one is gemini flash and one is gemini pro and i'm going to use gemini pro we can also add a sketch mock-up if we want but i'm going to just do web and we're going to hit generate design and you're going to see how fast this actually works. So here we have a futuristic landing page for companies selling personalized AI companions with a dark and neon aesthetics. So it is going to start generating this for us. And this isn't code, this is purely for design. We have the experimental version done here and we can see what it looks like. We have a menu system at the top. We can kind of scroll down. We see key features, testimony, pricing, and it looks pretty good. And we can always come down here in the bottom left and we can change things up. Maybe we want to modify it a little bit and we can like put in a prompt and it will start adjusting based off of what we said. In the top here, there's also the ability to adjust the appearance. So we can say, make it light, make it dark. We can adjust the colors and then we can hit apply theme. If our design was not going, we can hit apply theme and we can actually modify the theme colors really simply by adjusting this stuff up here. While our experimental mode is going with our changes that we have requested, I'm gonna show you what the standard mode came up with. So it is pretty similar and this generated a lot quicker. And this one actually has like images of people. It also has pricing. It is pretty close and this is much faster to generate. And just like before, we can say, hey, the result is good. We can say it's bad. What's really cool is we can actually copy it to Figma. So if you're a designer, you can just copy this over. You still have access to the edit themes. We can also click in and we can see the entire thing. And the reason why it works like this is when I show you the mobile app, there could be multiple images that it generates. So here we can click code and we can actually see the HTML code. So we can actually copy this and use this as a starting point for our front end design. If you wanna use this with other coding agents, like the one I showed you in a few videos ago through AI Studio, where you can develop full blown apps, you can actually copy this front end code, go paste it in there and say, hey, use this front end code and then I want you to build the back end that matches. So this is just like a really quick way to develop and design front ends and UIs really nicely. So here is the modification from the experimental mode and we can kind of see what it's done and how it looks. So this time around we are on mobile and I'm gonna enter this prompt here. I'm just gonna let it go as I explain to you the prompt, but basically a gamified fitness tracking app with vibrant and motivational interface, including challenges and social sharing. And I told it to design the homepage, tr the tracking page, the sign up and login page, and even the profile page. So this time around, you can see all these circles spinning because it is actually designing all the different pages of our application. And yes, you can do this for the web design as well. You can have it go through and actually design all the different pages for your website. So you kind of get an idea of what it looks like. So we can kind of see here, here is our app called FitQuest and it says, welcome back, stay motivated. We have our steps and actually this looks pretty solid. I like this. We have this one here, which gives us our activity and we can see today versus all and it's really clean. It looks really nice. We can kind of scroll through. There's our sign up page and we have our profile page and there's even achievements. So let me show you the color thing. Let's change it to red. So you can see the red app is generating here and it looks pretty solid. It's using like dark reds with the bright red to pop color. So you can really see the sign up button. I think these look pretty solid. I am not a designer, I am a coder, but I think they look pretty good. And honestly, this is probably the tool that I've needed because it does all the stuff that I'm not good at, even though I can get AI to do most of the coding for me now. And in an upcoming video, I will cover Claude code, which is absolutely incredible. So if you wanna see that, don't forget to click the subscribe button. I cover AI on a daily basis. Let's do one more mobile app design 
Online, so an educational app for learning a new language through interactive stories and AI-powered pronunciation feedback. So here it says, hey, these are the pages that we can make, and would you like me to proceed with these? So I said, yes, make all of these pages. So it's kind of like already generated all these different pages that it needs, like a home, a story selection, interactive story, feedback, profile in progress, and you can see all the different pages that are getting generated this time around for this app. You can see here it is finished and we have our stories. We can kind of scroll across. We can see the story title, the progress that the person's making, the student, a different profile here and grammar and vocabulary and all the different screens that we can use this app to make. Just for fun, I wanna do one more for the web just to show you that it can do multiple pages. So here we go. This is a website being designed with multiple pages. So we have a website here that is trying to sell some items and we have our homepage here and then we can go to the next page and this is just like a page that shows one specific item. You can see the reviews. It looks pretty good and then we can go through to the thank you for your order page. We are able to make a website with multiple pages. It's able to design multiple pages on websites as well, not just mobile apps. I think it is pretty mind blowing that you can make UI designs that look that good and they look really professional that quickly. And you can keep prompting it back and forth saying, hey, make this change, make that change, do this color, do that color. And as always, it's completely free. As far as I can tell, I haven't hit any usage limits from the testing I've done, and I think it is a pretty cool app. So you can actually use this, like I said before, make an app, design it, and then take that code, throw it in to Gemini, where Gemini will do all the back encoding or Firebase Studio, and you kind of start merging all these different AI tools together to make apps, websites, and other things that you want to make. How are you using this tool, or have you heard about it before? Maybe you haven't. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this one. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest AI content. I cover it on a daily basis. And don't forget to like the video. It tells the algorithm you enjoy this type of content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. AI tools, AI